morning everybody. Okay. Just let the girls out of the paddock. We're setting up the paddock for tonight. Should be a bugger done, dude. The girls are on their way up. Girls, top speed this morning. Two. They're really breaking this big barrier today. Well, there we go. Oh, hardly a good start nowadays. I left the gate open at the front of the cow shed there, at the front of the pit. There's a couple of cows just out in front of the, in this little square bit area here. Come on. Hey, Al. Look at them all. Not me to be out there, have me milked you. Come on, 80. Come. Move, 80. Come on. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. Everyone's back in now. Okie dokie. Let's get the milk and I can hear that coven. Morning, Dad. You got an armrest. <laughs> you can have scratches. There he is, pushing the cows up. Hey, Dad. Yeah. You're going to have to go and uh, find five cows out in the paddock. Oh, he's four. Four. He's got two. He'll be out there a while. He'll be a while and he's looking for five, he said. <laughs> I, I mean, the majority got three of them. One to go. Looks like he's going to do a runner. Right, three out there now, one to go. Right, ball deep. She's just the third, fourth to last. Yeah, there I think. Coming, Dad. You got her? I'll come down and help you. Come on. She's a trier. Too far for you to walk. Right, well, let's get to it. Start washing up and I'll see you. nice and early this morning. It's just gone about 10 past eight. Just rinsing out the vat. I filled up the hot water cylinder with water, so it'll be too cold to uh, put a hot wash through. That's all right. We sent 3,971 litres today. So, yeah. And it's not too bad, not too bad. Right. Let's go down and load up. Once we've put our rinse cycle through. There we go. We had a running pit stop. Dad had a, uh, needed a refill. So I put some diesel and some ad blue into her. We gonna put the bow being up that high when I'm moving in the attic. Yeah, so I put some diesel and ad blue into her. Ad blue just helps the emissions, so it's uh, not not bellowing out black smoke when she starts up or when she starts working hard. Drop our bale. Here. Yeah. Okay. We're ready. Dad's tractor's just about be wrong warming up by now. And then we'll be ready to start chopping some maize. Yeah, we're off to go and feed out. We've got to get through this uh, corner up here, which is always fun. Never too easy. There we go, we're in our feet now. The girls are gonna cut in front of us, try and get to the other side, when they could just wait like the old girl there, she knows. If I wait, I'll get to the maze eventually. Carry on.
So even though our grass went and got uh, killed off by that water, stagnant water, we've actually got some young grass coming up through it. So it's great, it's starting to come back. It's at least, at least a month away before we could even look at grazing primarily that area so it'll be back for winter but won't be back for uh this season come on watch out guys watch out you may be able to get a graze off in april but this area is usually um these two paddocks are usually three sorry these three paddocks are usually locked up and not used during may because these are where the girls come out here in, uh, in winter so that they can graze off the farm basically. Okay. Yeah, look at those girls. They're not too happy to carry overs. They know what the stuff is. <laughs> oh, well. all when we reload. Up in the maze, a bit of down maze up there, but the chopper's not doing a bad job of picking it up. There we go. We're starting working through it well. We're even getting some of the down maze, but not all of it. Six rows to each load, it's 12 rows of paddock. Probably only three days worth left there. And we'll be opening a new paddock soon. Three or four days left. There's a silage belt, better grab them. Jack them on. Right, this is what we're up to today. We're going to be drenching the uh, little carvies and make sure we've got some yeah, B12 selenium. Let's go drench some little carvies up at Dad's place. Uh, due for a drench. Check the gun, made sure it was all set up. It's 10 mils. It is uh, 10 mils for 120 to 200 kilo marks, so that's perfect. We're drenching and shifting the little fellas today. They're in the paddock just behind the, those trees there. And, uh, hello, there's two little fellas down here. They got down here when, um, they were in the paddock just below that house up there. So I've got a reel here to go around the silage bales because that's where the other ones are going when, all of them are going when they're drenched. So we've got to go and, um, get these two out first. But I can see someone's been eating the silage. You little bugger. Come on, Ziggy, Ziggy, come on, come on. Yeah, that should stop little fellas from eating silage. He didn't get in there, but uh, I just noticed there's a few holes in these bales that need patching. The tracks down there, we got them. They're both over there waiting. We're just going to set up the shed, get them ready, and we can uh, bring them in and drench them. They got them, here they come. Hey, Shuggy. Just gonna go and check to see if there's any more left in there. See, there's a couple of them got have got um, quite dirty butts, so it's about time they got a drench. Yeah, they're looking the 150 to 200 kilo mark at the moment. All right, let's get them in, start drenching. So you see a couple of them with crappy ass. It's about time they got a drench. Come on. Come on. Up, up, come on.
I'm gonna lit these ones out. Yep, I'll go in front of them. Lit these up. Here they come. Nice and drenched and light on B12. They'll be hungry and ready to eat. Come on, Tuggy Tuggy Tuggy, come on. Here they come. Oh, Tuggy Tuggy Tuggy. All of them nice and happy. That'll be. Go on. some nice white faces this year. Nice black mob there. Nice couple of brown mobs, too. It's good. There's a scanty one in the middle there, but shoot, sure, he'll come right, he'll come right. And those asses will clean up now and they'll be nice and ready to uh, eat some grass and grow. They're following them down. Cows all locked away. Happy ears in there. And we've got our, fixed our silage bale there that had a nice hole in it. I'll well, just have a look around and check for any others. Oh, off to Grandad's now to go and drench. He's over that away. So we'll head that way. It'll be a beautiful day. Right. There's Mount Tiaraha over there. Nice view. All right, see you, Grandad. How are we doing? Box of birds, come on. Box of birds, that's a way, that's a way. Little carvies. Jeez, get it. Dad might have to put up the weight size. We got any bigger cash yet? That's right. Jeepers, there's a lot of them. Bring them in. They'll be close. Little get He's into the cash yet, little coffees. Come on. Hey, you see, they got crappy butts as well. They'll want a uh, good drench. We'll give it a crack. I mean, we can always bring back some. Gonna be close. They might be in the 250, some of them. 200 to 250, some of them. Uh, I think that's 12.5. 12.5. Come on. Oh, he won't fit. That's enough, Granddad. Quite like me at the moment. They all got pricked and prodded. And... Come on, around you go. Around you go, out you go. Come on. Come on. No rush, steady as you go. Come on. And also that barn there. Um, that got fixed up by the fellows who come and did the fencing around Dad's house. Done a beautiful job of it. Um, it was quite an issue in <laughs> someone, not naming names, pushed the uh, back of the barn out. And as you see here, they fixed it up nice. It done a great job of straightening it back up. Even covered this hole. There was a hole here from when Granddad used to feed calves here. Dad said, just cover that up if you can, and they did. Yeah, come on. Where you going? There's a water trough. Come on. Come on. So, looks beautiful. Better than what it was before. <laughs> All right, that's them headed off. And it looks like that's us done this morning. That's good. How you doing, Grant? It's good. Happy yeah, ears. Happy All drenched. Yeah, everything's good. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, way back, Dad. Way back. Typical Jersey. Mom, do they have a little in there?
I'll have that for the day and it'll shift them in a couple of days time and there's the two-year-olds heifers that are going to be brought in in July I'll be ready to carve in July beautiful looking really nice massive animals so that's us for this morning I'll see you all at milking tonight we've uh, basically come back from granddad's we had a look at upgrading our uh, milk line and our cups because they no longer make the stuff for our cups so we're going to look at upgrading that Yeah, she's a bit sharp in the middle for the cows. <laughs> Everyone's on the edges. Oh well, let them take their time, they're happy. And the girls are all got, starting to arrive. Dad left about uh, 20 minutes ago. So, it's going to be there a fair way away. Alright, I better get into it. I rinsed the vat because we washed it earlier and it needed a um, bit of a cooling. Just on a warmer day. If you put a nice cool cycle through it, it helps, just helps the vet stay a bit cooler at the start. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's going well. They're not really in a hurry. They're just, just dawdling, waiting. Oh, looking good, girls. You're looking good. They're looking well tonight too. I'd have to say. There they come. Coming in well too. Oh, sort of half well. Not really walking out though. They can't bother going anywhere. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> he likes to be weird. Where's Mackenzie? Eating. Oh, eating. Still in the yard. Still in the oh, car. The teeth with the little uh, Turn it off. I'll see you in the morning, Dad. And we're off to go feed out. Another successful milking. Girls are a bit down tonight, but yeah, don't know why. They're getting fed well. They got good paddocks of grass. Just must be um, starting to get to that time where some of them are because they're getting close to calving. We start calving the 10th of July, so our first ones could possibly drop around the 5th. So we could be looking. Uh, we generally dry off about the end of May, but some of those girls are starting to get a bit um, baggy. But that is a night milking for you. So we'll see how they go in the morning. Beauty. Let's go. Give these girls two nice little piles. That's a good little pile. Mainly because we want them to have some grass left in their paddock and if they eat some more maize, then, uh, is uh, quite wet down that bottom end we will stay up this top end and we'll feed out maize up here because down there's very wet from where those willow weeds start through so we'll carry on
I'm attacking the tire. <laughs> Silly little girl. Go eat your maze. Stop attacking the tire. Silly cow. Where's our Jersey girl? Ah, uh, she must have got on the wrong side, eh? And got into the maze. And there's Mackenzie cow. Here she comes. And that's us all done dust all fed out for the day i think we'll call it a day there like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the morning thank you